Well hi there guys and welcome to another episode of On The Bank Angling. In this episode you join me back on the beautiful River Neen on the Caster Backwater where I'll be once again targeting barbel, this time using slightly different tactics of pellets and you'll be following me over the week to see how I get on in very short evening sessions after work. Managed to catch a few fish and hopefully in this video you'll see just how good the fishing on this intimate little water is. So tune in and enjoy. Well hi there guys, welcome to another episode of On The Bank Angling. Join me uh, tonight on the River Neen. You would have seen I've done a couple videos here in the past. I'm on the uh, caster backwater of the River Neen. It's run by the uh, Peterborough and District Angling Association. It's a really good stretch for chub and barbel. Um, it's not always easy down here, I'll be honest with you. I've had a lot of blanks down here. Um, but when you get the fish, they're absolutely lovely. There's a few spots along, along the backwater that are actually easier than others. There's a swim down there called the nursery. Probably one of the best barbel swims I've ever fished, to be honest. Every time you put in there, you generally get one. So that's a really good swim. We're getting a few sort of chub knocks in here. I'm in a swim uh, called the Bridge Willows. Nice set of trees on the far bank that sort of run all the way down river uh, to a bridge. And uh, you do often find there are a few chub here. People do catch barbel here, but it's it, not as consistent as some of the other swims on the river. So all I've been doing, um, just baiting with pellets uh, out on the edge of the edge of this tree out here. And uh, yeah, bait and repel, it's right upstream of where you would probably think the fish are sitting. I would imagine the fish are sitting right back further down the peg. I'll show you the, uh, the raft that I think the fish would probably sit under. Um, and I'm just doing that in an attempt to sort of draw the fish upstream and let them get confident. The danger is, especially with chub, if you cast straight into where they're holding, Unless you catch one, you can catch one straight away doing that. But more often than not, you'll just spook them off and they'll stop feeding. So I'd rather let the fish in their own time creep upstream. If things are getting hard and I think, well, I'm not going to get a bite any other way, I can always then cast down there a bit later. So um, let's have a look and see how we get on. Right then guys, here's my bait for the session. Probably the only two baits I consider using down here, as you saw from the previous two videos I made. I'm usually using this stuff and roving about. Um, but the water's a bit clear. I think it's probably a bit too clear for me. Maybe that'll work closer to the, the hours of darkness. Um, I've still got probably a couple of hours of light left, so a little while before that'll be going on. But all I've been doing is Attaching this to my rig, I've just got a banded pellet about this size on the hook. Now, the only issue with that is, although it's a brilliant way to catch barbel, it's also a good chance that that's going to get hit by every other fish. So that's what I'm finding at the moment, having to keep recast to, um, to check my, my pellets on. I mean, your, your way around that is obviously to use a boilie. Um, but... I'm going to stick with the pellets. I think it's a, a, a great way to get the barbel feeding in, in really tough conditions. So I'm um, going to stick with those. I had a couple of barbel this season doing it. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. If I haven't had anything in this swim within the next sort of 20 minutes, I'll be moving off up the river. Um, but we have had a dog just go in the far side near, near the raft where I'm fishing to. So... That might have caused a bit of disturbance, so we'll see.
Right then guys, so as you will have seen, I've done what I said I was going to do in this time cast further downstream into the snag. Just getting lots of little knocks out um, in front. Um, was probably just feeding and uh, baited it, probably fished it for about 20 minutes, half hour. If there was a decent chub there or a barrel that was feeding, that would have gone. So um, that's the only amount of time you really need to give it. If I was on meat, like I was in the other videos before, max I give a swim is probably 10 minutes. Because you're looking, you're, all you're doing with meat is rolling it through and looking for that instant bite. With pellets, you give them a little bit longer because you're looking at fish are going around picking up individual pellets. Um, so we'll see. I've had a quick, quick bang like that, probably a little chub. Um, but yeah, might have to even head off further down the river, see what we can find. The only trouble is I know there's been other anglers fishing down there because I've seen them coming back. So I'm not too keen on dropping in swims that people have already fished today. But yeah, we'll see. Let's uh, keep trying. Right then guys, so as you can see I've moved. Uh, stopped getting knocks in the other swim. Um, that's, that's the way on here, you know. Some fish move about up and down this backwater so much. Like I said, there's a few holding areas and then uh, the rest of the time the fish are just mooching about. So you find some swims one day you drop in, you catch a fish. Other days uh, there's nothing there apart from small stuff. So I'm actually in a swim now, another really well-known swim. Uh, this one's called uh, sorry I just had a little pull there on the tip this one's actually called the gate peg and uh, yeah it's a very tricky swim to fish but if you get it right there are some very big barbel that hang around here um, there's actually a big tree downstream and what you find is a lot of the fish sit down there um, if you can get it real tight to the tree you can get a bite pretty quick because um, they sit right underneath it, big raft. Looking at the raft, it's actually gone down a little bit this season from what it was last season. Last season it covered nearly the whole river. Um, so this season looks a bit different. So this is the first time I've dropped in here this season, so it'll be interesting to see um, what happens. Maybe that, that's impacted the fishing on, um, in this peg. Yeah, we'll see a little early indication. Um, I haven't got too tight to it. I went down as far as I could. Like I said, it's very awkward cast. Um, yeah, hopefully it slams round. Let's see what happens. Well, hi, welcome back, guys. As you can see, it's a new day. It's the following day. I didn't catch anything last night, unfortunately. So I've come down again after work tonight and I've managed to get into the flyer, the, fit, the swim I was talking about called the nursery. So optimistic of a few chances in here. I've had a oh, chub bang straight away. Struck and missed it. Nothing there grabbing the pellet. And if that keeps happening, I'm going to change to a big lump of meat to just to try and single out the barbell. They often, to be fair to them, they often come in and bully the other fish out of the way anyway. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Weather conditions are horrible, which is probably why I've managed to get in here. It's absolutely pissing with rain. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, hopefully we'll get one. I'm pretty optimistic. I've never been in this swim and not had a, a good bite from a fish. Don't always land them because there's a big snag on the other side. 
a lot of people make the mistake of fishing really close to it and as soon as you hook one, game over. So, yeah. Um, let's see how we get on. I'm confident of getting one and showing you one tonight, just showing you how nice the, the barbel down here at Castor are. Let's see how we get on. Right, well here we go then guys. I said it wouldn't take too long and I've had, I've got one second cast and uh, yeah. This is why they call this swim the nursery because it is a much smaller stand than anything I've caught along here. I don't fish the swim that often. I've fished it twice this year. Had fish out of it both times I've cast in. So it really is, to be honest, it's one of the best barbel swims I've ever fished. But you don't often hear of monsters coming out of here. This is a typical example, but a lovely young fit fish. It's got a bit of the, bit of the weed on him from in the edge. Probably, whoa, yeah, small one, I'm a smaller fish from the Neen. But look at that one, there you go. Probably five pounds, something like that. Lovely little fish, absolutely brilliant. Um, on a nice wet day, there's his big head and his whiskers. Fantastic, he put up an epic scrap as they always do. Brilliant stuff. Right, let's slip you back, pal, and see if uh, one of your bigger brothers is down there. Spot on. Number one tip with barbel, guys, give them absolutely loads of time before you get them out of the water once you've caught them and before you put them back. They do really give it all in the fight, especially in summer when oxygen levels are a little bit lower. It's imperative I just let him rest there I'm not you know I'm not fishing just let him rest I've had my fun I've caught my fish now put him back so he can enjoy the rest of his day and hopefully someone else will catch it he'll be there for someone else to catch in the future here we go then guys fish number two like peas in a pod these fish that one's a very similar size to the last one actually um, lovely fish probably back probably a little bit bigger actually give him give myself six and a half for that one you can see absolutely nailed on that little tiny hook and that little banded pellet. Um, they're, they're liking it in front of the snag today. Sometimes they like it behind it, but all right. Happy days. Well, there you go, guys. So you've seen me catch a couple of barbel from the, uh, what I'm starting to call the silly peg. It's just, honestly, it's, it's one of the best barbel swims I've ever fished. It's mental in here absolutely mental but a lot of them are smaller fish so what i'm about to do now may appear very very stupid to some people and i'm part of me thinks i may be very very stupid myself for doing it but i'm gonna go up the river to where i did those videos last year and i'm gonna try and catch a bigger one um i haven't heard of many doubles come out of this swim but they, it does do doubles don't get me wrong um, people have reported them but this it's a lot you've got to generally catch three or four fish before you get one um and it's been getting some stick this swim. I just wanted to come in to, um, to show you uh, just how good the fishing is in there when, when they're on it. So we've got about an hour of light left. Let's go see if we can catch a chunk. Um, I'm gonna put on meat and we'll go see what happens. Cheers guys. Right then guys, there's the new rig. Weather's absolutely horrendous now. So apologies for the rain on the camera. Nice big hook, braided hook link, little bit of weight up the line and a hook link. And there we go. A big lump of that meat, and we'll see what we can catch. Let's go find some bigger barbel. Here we are then, guys. New swim. And I'm not really rolling meat like I said I was. Well, like I suggested I may have been. Because, uh, well, I've got a little bit too much weight on there. So I'm just sort of casting it into spots where I think fish will hold. And, it, and you, I still think you should get fairly instant bites. Um, so I'm only going to give it sort of five, ten minutes in each spot. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Like I said, might have made a mistake moving away from that from that swim full of barbel, but if we could get a big double, what a trip this would be. So, let's see what happens. Right then, guys. So I'm on my fourth and final cast in here now. Unfortunately, not a knock on any of them. It just shows you some swims have got fish in, some swims don't. And that's always the way on here. Um, I've tried in here, here down there and right on the join there there's a little bit of where, where water flows through there as well i've tried on there i've actually just seen a mink swim through the peg just come up here uh, yeah so um whether that has any effect i don't know 
but I'm not going to give it too much longer. I've got a few. I haven't seen a single person on the stretch, so the rain really has put people off. Um, so I've probably got about 45 minutes to an hour left. I'm going to go right downstream. A few other swims to try down there. I don't know how many of them I'll be able to show you, but I will show you what I can. And uh, yeah, see if we can catch one. And if I do have time, I'll have another quick drop in the nursery on the meat to see if it could, could just be the, the fact that I'm using meat. It might, you know, if I put pellets in here, it might have been a different story. But I do like to get settled in a swim to fish pellets where meats are far more, uh, find far more instant and effective roving bait. Um, but there we go. Let's give this one an extra three or four minutes, see if anything happens. New swim. These conditions are absolutely appalling. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's pretty nasty stuff here. I feel like a bit of an idiot, to be honest. But it'll be worth it for, for a big barbel. Um, just first casting the swim. Just again, I'll cast in a few areas. See how we get on. The first one's gone right down here, in close to this bush. So I've caught Chuck there in the past. Never had any barbel out of the swim, but I never had any fish before. So, let's have a quick look. Right then, guys, how about this for a close quarters swim? I have seen people catch barbel out of here. It's literally, all you've got is a tiny little channel in this tree, which is where the barbels sit in there. Very close quarters, not for the faint heart, if you do need strong tackle to get them out, but it can be done. But it's not a swim I give very long. If they're here, then you generally get a bite pretty quick. But nothing's happened yet. They're in there about five, ten minutes. And then, guys, here we are. Another swim. And. Uh, trouble is with caster, when it is busy, you don't have any idea of who's fish been fishing what swim, so it can impact. You, think you go into a swim, you think, oh, that's rubbish. It's good because someone's been fishing it, or or they've had a fish out of it, or whatever. But yeah, this is quite a popular swim, this one. And uh, I've got my bait, as you can probably tell from my line. Right down here, it's a nice little bit of gravel just by this bush. A little bit of depth there, so I'm trying down there. It's a bit of a sit and wait swim, really. You've got to just generally just wait until fish just cruise up along here. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. But um, there's been a few fish up around this area, so I've been told the last sort of week along here right towards the weir so you never know but they are very very pressured the caster fish it's strange really how that that one swim in the nursery always seems to fish so well considering it gets probably the most stick out of any of the swims but they're just happy staying there so but there are bigger fish in other areas if you can search them out it's why that nursery is so easy is because there's a number of fish there which means they compete when you're fishing in these other swims you've got like one or two fish to go for which makes it a lot harder but you can but try the rewards are definitely down here so yeah sit and wait in this one couple of potential other options and uh, yeah let's see what happens well here we are guys we're in another swim keeping mobile there's actually a lot of people on the stretch today I think there's about nine anglers down here tonight um, so I haven't got a lot of scope to move, but I've actually managed to get into a swim uh, known as Redmire. I mean, it's 
you know, it's a recognised swim, fished well last season, but it has changed a bit since last season. And the, uh, the Neen Valley Trust have done some work down here. And as you can see on that tree over there, there's a big limb that was cut off that tree. Now that branch or that big part of the tree was coming right out across the river. So it was creating a lovely little um, bit of cover for the barbel in there. Um, and it's all nice and gravelly underneath it. So the gravel will still be there, obviously. Uh, there's not as much cover, but there's still a fair bit, as you can see along this little run. They have got a lot of cover along the far bank there as they come down into here. A lot of cover, there's a lot of depth there as well, so and a little bit of cover downstream, so good chance of a bite in here. I don't, again, I don't know whether it's been fished today. The swim I was in last time, uh, a bloke come along literally probably 10 minutes after I cast out and said, oh yeah, I, I tried in there, I didn't get a bite. So that's the challenge of fishing down here. Everyone's sort of rotating the swims and it is doing something different or just being there at the right time when people really catch, so. I'll give this one a go now. I've put the bait out there, just one bag, one bag, and that banded pellet hook bait out there. Hopefully that tip slams around. Well guys, the lack of barbel bites in any other swim other than the nursery was starting to get a little bit frustrating, but I didn't let that deter me from trying other areas, including a couple of spots on the main river which is absolutely stunning and very underfished, so it was well worth a go. Unfortunately, this didn't get any bites either. Look at that, lovely <laughs> chubbly. Immaculate little First fish. First cast in the way for Good start. Good looking, mate. Oh. Here we are then, guys. Another night on the river. And as you would have seen, Freddy's caught a few chub, which is great. Far better than absolutely nothing. Um, no barbel yet. But I'm back in this swim. I've got high hopes for this swim. Um, it just feels like there should be barbel around here. So let's see. Hopefully tonight's the night that that slant tip slams around with a big double on the end. Certainly hope so. Well there we go guys, it finally happened in a different swim. Not a massive fish, but I was chuffed to get a different area going. The next couple of nights would be pretty much more of the same. Plenty of trying new swims, plenty of blanking, but actually one big surprise at the end. Well, there we go guys, another barbel on the bank. And uh, at eight and a half pound, my biggest fish of the season to date. Not a massive one by caster standards or barbel standards, but still a great fish to catch. I had a brilliant week fishing on the River Neen, ups and downs and pretty much everything that comes with barbel fishing. And that magic moment when it finally slams round makes it all worthwhile. I'm certainly gonna be back doing a lot over the next couple of months and I'll let you know when that magic double comes. Until next time though guys, enjoy your fishing and tight lines.